There's a place in the woods called Aspen Ridge because of all the populous trees which grow there. This is where we're from. We are the Popple people. Welcome to our channel. We're glad you stopped by. In this episode, we will be unboxing the Woodland Mill HM122 9.5 portable sawmill. Since the extra items are strapped on top, let's start with those first. You'll need a tin snips or something similar to cut the straps securing the boxes in place and a utility knife. Here's the five pack of extra blades. Careful, these are extremely sharp. This is the cant hook for moving and turning logs. It requires a small amount of assembly. There will be a separate video covering that. It feels heavy duty, sturdy. Here's the track extension kit. Without this extension, the stock unit processes a maximum of 10 foot 4 inch long timbers. And with the extra track extension that was purchased, it can process timber up to 16 feet 9 inches in length. Based on the nomenclature from the website, the HM122 abbreviation for this mill appears to be related to the fact that this sawmill can cut up to a 22 inch max diameter log. The nomenclature pattern implies this because the 126 model handles up to 26 inch diameter logs and the 130 model handles up to 30 inch diameter logs. The 9.5 in the box refers to the 9.5 horsepower gas engine which powers the mill, which was purchased as an upgrade. The metal shipping frame comes apart in pieces, as you'll see here. lot of stuff inside that shipping frame. Make sure you have enough room to spread it all out as you're unpacking. Turns out this car trailer is just the right size for that. That metal frame is sharp. Be sure to put on gloves when you're moving that around. Here we had to unload it off the pallet. It's a heavy lift. Look, there's an owner's manual in this little tube. Perhaps we should have dug that out first. Now 
now it's time to disassemble the front of the metal shipping frame. For this, you need two 13 millimeter wrenches or sockets would work too. Yes, handling this frame, we totally should have had gloves on. Oops. The instructions say to bend this front metal piece down onto blocks. Be sure they're big enough. We had to add additional blocks later because these weren't high enough. Then cover that with a piece of the cardboard you removed earlier. Finally, flip the saw head onto the cardboard platform you've created. If you have questions, email us at thepopplepeople, all one word, at gmail.com. Or feel free to drop a comment below. provided instructions in their owner's manual for this mill on how to unbox the main unit. Overall, unpacking this was a fairly straightforward process. From start to finish, it took about an hour. Hopefully this video helped show what to expect for the unboxing process of your woodland mill so you can prepare accordingly. Stay tuned for our next video where we will assemble the cant hook. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more straight to the point videos about our journey with the sawmill, please consider subscribing. That way you can be a popple people too. We'll catch you next time. Bye.